When I got there, everything was burned except for the vehicle. It had almost been four days since anybody had seen the, the animals or the vehicle where it's been burned over, so there's no shade. Um, there's very likely no water um, up where they were at as well. It's about a third of a mile away from the vehicle. I saw a really big print on the ground and there was little puppy prints everywhere uh, that were also fresh. And so that really got me excited. And that's when I kind of full on sprinted the rest of the way to the vehicle. I'm lucky that I had a Rottweiler uh, was my first dog as a kid. And so I was pretty familiar with the breed and realized that once you're inside their circle of trust, then they're your best friend. You could see, almost see her shoulders release, like all the tension of like, okay, it's it, it might be over. It's finally over. We're gonna get out of here. I gained her trust. As soon as she kind of gave the okay, all the puppies came streaming out from underneath the truck. One did not make it, which is the one that I saw inside the truck. Um, and I think that was probably from dehydration. Um, that was kind of what we were worried about for the rest of them. So I'm glad we were able to make access when we were and create a different outcome for the other five dogs. I took that video because I was like, nobody's gonna believe me that these dogs that I just kind of pied pipered these dogs out of the woods. So I was like, and it was, it was so cute coming behind me. Wrangled him into the back of the helicopter. Mama sat right next to me on the bench seat. Um, there was two boys that were a little bigger. They uh, had a good amount of energy and were trying to kind of the troublemakers of the batch. So I kind of picked them up and put them on my lap uh, and held them on Monday evening. Uh, they were able to be reunited with their owner. Um, one of the support staff from North Valley Animal Disaster Group who helped me do the initial assessment when I got back uh, actually ended up adopting one of the puppies as well. A lot of the reason I do this is animals don't know the scale of disasters. They don't know when their humans are no longer there. They don't understand the scope. I think the, the mom is, is kind of the hero of this story, to be honest, is she's the one that kept those puppies alive by nursing them. Um, the puppies are two to three months old, and so it was probably right on that edge where that might not have been a possibility, but she was the one who made sure that that was what, what allowed them all to survive. Just being able to bring that hope back to these animals was a good feeling for me, for sure.